What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to talk about how you can apply for jobs that you don't meet the skill requirements. Alright guys, I'm talking specifically about these kind of jobs that you see all the time in the job boards asking you for example for two years of experience, asking you to know PHP, Node, Python, all these kind of different things, you name it, they just put everything in there. So let me just quickly explain you how most of these things are done, how, how most of these jobs are just like published in these kind of job boards. So it starts usually like this. There is a manager in a, in a company that is, is responsible for a, a web developer team. And this manager, for example, he needs a junior developer, let's say. He just say, because it's not the manager who is going to take care of uh, publishing these kind of things into, um, into these job boards or anything. Usually, it's going to be someone from the human resources of the company or they will hire some kind of uh, these recruiters from other companies that they will take care of all this process. Okay. In, in the end, basically the manager is just going to interview the person and obviously after he's going to like decide if he's joining or not. But all of these things that are publishing to the, um, to the job boards are taken care by the human resources or by the, the recruiters. And what I want to say in here is, usually someone from the human resources, for example, they say, okay, what kind of uh, developer do you want? And I'm, let, let me just show you this. Is the manager is going to say, ah, you know, obviously, I would not like someone who is coming here and doesn't know nothing. Let's say between zero and two years of experience, you know, something that, of course, if we can get someone with two years of experience and we can, we can pay him like a really low salary, the best. This is what they all think about. Let me tell you this. And of course, the they will probably offer like a very low salary. You will see from the salary offers that you see. For, if it's a really low salary is for someone who is just starting out. Even though they put their two years of experience, don't bother about it and just apply anyway. And of course, they send them, oh, look, if this person knows PHP or if this person knows C Sharp or if this person knows Node.js, just one of them, put all of these languages in there because if they know just one of the languages, it will be fine for us, okay? And that's why when you guys go to these job boards and you see all these different requirements in there, like, oh my God, I'm supposed to know, I'm supposed to know Bootstrap, I'm supposed to know PHP, I'm supposed to know JavaScript, I'm supposed to know uh, my SQL. I, I saw, I saw so many of these job, um, job advertisements for, for example, web designers. A web designer is someone who should be just doing graphics and other stuff for the web. And they are asking him to know my SQL, PHP and, and JavaScript. It's, it's ridiculous. But this is what I'm trying to tell you. They just put all of these, all of these skills in there that if you know at least one of them, it's going to be fine. Let me just give you one, one example, one example that uh, on my second job as a web developer, I remember it was exactly like that. I, I only had like one year of experience and in the job, in the job board, it was saying something like, we need someone with two years of experience, PHP, C Sharp, whatever. And there was like loads of different things. I only knew PHP at the time, okay? And I went to the interview and everything. And in the end, when I started to work in the company, I didn't use PHP. That was the language that I, I was learning at the time. And I started to work with C Sharp. <laughs> Completely different. I never even touched C Sharp in my life. But this is just really to show you how these kind of uh, job boards out there with all these kind of uh, requirements, it may like scare you. Oh, I'm not ready or I can't apply. And one thing that I don't understand about most of you is you guys are afraid. You guys are afraid for applying. What, what are you going to lose? Tell me, what are you going to lose if you, were, if you apply? Even if you don't get any, any response back or anything, or even if you are going to the interview and you don't um, and you don't like succeed this happened to me many times i went to interviews and i didn't succeed but let me tell you what you just get a lot of experience because 
I remember some of my early interviews with other companies. I thought, oh my god, this interview went like so well. And then now, for example, I know that all the answers that I gave and questions that they, they asked me, my answers were all wrong. I remember something like uh, uh, they were asking me, just like one of them, like, what do you know about us? Like they were asking, and I was like, oh, I don't know anything about your company. I just saw, I just saw the, the advertisement in the job boards and I applied, that's it. Oh, okay, okay. And they were just like, <laughs> and I thought it was completely normal. There was, a, there was another one, for example, uh, let's say, they were asking me something like, where do you see yourself in five years or something? And I said, oh, in five years, I would see myself just like uh, working for myself, building my own company or something like this. They're totally wrong, you see, totally wrong, because they want to they want to see, they want to hire someone who is going to stay a long time in the company, because they don't want to hire someone who is thinking about just living in the next month or in the next year. So all of these things, all of these things, this is what I'm telling you, you don't lose anything, you just gain experience. And when you see this kind of job, job advertisements out there, now you know, even... Of course, let me tell you something. If if the the advertisement is like for a senior developer with maybe like five, ten years of experience, that's different. It's not for someone who is just starting out, okay? But uh, if it's this kind of thing, like two years of experience and all these kind of uh, different skills in there, um, it's okay. It's okay. You know, you can apply. But let me tell you also something. Uh, there is a lot of you guys that you just want to get a job as a web developer with HTML and CSS. You just want to make it the easy way. And uh, the, it doesn't work like this because this is the, the market, the market out there and there is so many people out there trying to apply for the same job. This is almost like a jungle. It's like everybody is fighting. Then if you don't work hard, if you don't try to learn more things, there will be your neighbor, there will be another guy two doors down, there will be another guy from other city that is, is at home learning more, more, more. So you need to compete with these kind of people. If you are with the mindset to just learn HTML and CSS, like most of you are asking me, can I get a job with just HTML and CSS? <laughs> Maybe you can, you know, there are still jobs out there, but you don't increase your chances of getting a job. Okay, you need to work hard and try to learn some new things. The more things that you learn, like I said, I mentioned in a lot of my videos that uh, I would really advise you if you are just like applying for a first job to know HTML, CSS, of course, and then knowing Bootstrap is very important and JavaScript, okay? And of course, if you know some kind of framework like uh, React or Angular, even better. But that's it guys, that's it for this video and this is what I want to tell you. Don't be scared with this kind of job advertisements out there when they are asking you for all these kind of requirements. You don't need to meet all of them, even though if you know just like one of those languages or some of these things, most of the stuff probably you will be learning there at the job itself. Alright guys, that's it for this video, I hope you like it. Just write down in the, in the video in the description what kind of other videos you, would you like to see from my channel as well, because I'm doing now a, a kind of tutorial on PHP as well, you know, to help you guys that you never learn anything about the back end. And yeah, now that's it for this video guys, I hope you like it, make sure to give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.